The Central Bank of Nigeria and the Nigerian Communications Commission have announced a new charge for mobile banking services in the country in a bid to end a row between banks and telecom operators. Anita Felix reports on how this might affect USSD usage in Nigeria, financial inclusion, and the dispute between banks and telecommunication operators. Six Naira, 98 Kaba. That's what Nigerians would now be billed when they use USSD codes to transfer money, buy airtime or data, pay subscription fees, among others. Before now, Nigerians paid an unstructured fee per session for USSD usage, but the Central Bank of Nigeria and the Nigerian Communications Commission announced the new fee on March 16th saying it's much cheaper and would enhance financial inclusion. Economic analyst Ayodeji Ebu weighs in on the news. What we used to have before was not standardized. Some would charge you five naira, some would charge you ten naira or more. But now it's already uh, it's been agreed that it will be six naira ninety eight or roughly seven naira. But Chief Executive Officer Kauri Assets Management Limited, Johnson Chuku, offers a different perspective on the pros and cons of the new fee and posed the question to the CBN. If it leads to an increase in the cost of uh, enjoying banking services, it could be a disincentive to customers to embrace banking services. But if ultimately it is a cheaper cost, then it could actually enhance uh, financial inclusion. But they say previously it was passation. But because most US, USSD transactions are on a transaction basis, so I need them to define what do they mean by passation and how much was the charge that we are being deducted. There had been a protracted dispute between banks and the telecommunications operators concerning appropriate pricing for the USSD model. But Ayodeji and Johnson believe the new law is a win-win for banks and telcos. Banks have not been remitting. Nobody has been paying the telcos and other stakeholders that provided that platform, that structure. So now that it's guaranteed that they'll be getting their inflow or getting paid for these services, we'll see more investment into that space. We'll see more innovation within that space. The banks are the ones that will be saved the burden of having to bear this cost. However, users of USSD codes criticize the new fee, online and offline. I cannot be paying for USSD. Um, they should find a way to share the payment. That is um, the network company and then the banks. Before, uh, banking just like a way you can keep money and at the end of the day, you have interest or something will come out. But this time around, bank is where, when you are keeping money there, you believe that at the end of the month, they will be drawing gradually, gradually, gradually on the serial cover. Star three digit number hash. The USSD is arguably the easiest and most convenient way to make payments and conduct financial transactions in Nigeria. But users are now divided over the interpretation of the new CBN directive to charge 6 naira 98 kaba per transaction. While some celebrate it as a reduction in mobile banking cost, others see it as an increase. But whichever way it is, it's now up to Nigeria's Apex Bank to provide more clarity on the new law. Aneta, Felix, Plus TV Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.